and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Uh, hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you how to create a natural brace to reduce back pain. And a lot of times you can reduce it from as high as 8 slash 10, which is a numbering system that we often use. Right. 10 out of 10 is terrible, of course. Right. Uh, down to a 2 slash 10. Right. So we're going to give you these hints. Stick with us. By you the better way, believe it. Oh. If you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us? Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section because right now we're giving Ooh. away an infrared Thermotex infrared heating system. This thing is fantastic. This thing penetrates how many inches, Brad? Two point three six inches. Yeah. Normal heat only goes like this far. This goes this far, so it can get into the joints and right. can make a difference. Really good for the back and neck and especially this time of year. This time of year. We it's just really... had temperatures plummet. It's not going to be above fifty for five more months. Yeah. No, don't say it. We're gonna have Indian summer. Okay. Okay. Uh, also you can find it on Facebook and you can also go to Twitter and Instagram for a short version of our program. 60 seconds of your day. That's all you there you give go. us. All. all right. So this information is from Stuart uh, McGill. He's a PhD. A lot of information on back pain. Uh, fantastic stuff that he provides. Um, and he's a therapist, right? Uh, no, he's not a therapist. But he works with people with back pain. He works pain. with, yeah, yeah, exactly. So this came into uh, my forefront of my brain mm -hmm. when I was shoveling last year. Remember we had to shovel so much last year, mm -hmm. all that snow that yeah. went up like that. So I was shoveling and my back wasn't conditioned to do that much lifting. Right. And I was starting to get really sore because we were having to shovel every day. <laughs> and uh, so I started to do what I started to do when I was shoveling is to tighten up my abdomen, tighten up my abs and kind of my whole core while I was doing it. So that's really your back yeah. brace of the body. The yeah, that's back right, brace. my natural. And what a difference it made, Brad. I mean, mm -hmm. it was immediate. Like, I was sore and hurting, and but as soon as I tightened up and, uh, you know, I just kept tightening every time I lifted, the pain would diminish to sure. nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was gone. So that's where I became convinced. And then when I was reading the information from Dr. McGill is that, you know, he said basically – that, yeah, you can create your own natural back brace. And he's actually got three exercises to do so. Sure. We're going to do that on another video. Okay. How to, how to strengthen your core. But right now, all you really want to do, the guidelines, you just want to tighten enough to stop the pain. You don't have to, you know, really bear down. Sure. You also don't want to suck in your abs. You know, you don't want to go like that. Yeah. And you also don't want to push them out. Right. You know, you want to keep them just right with it. And one thing you can do is just take your fingers, stick them into your abdominal wall, and then tighten up, and you can feel it. Right. So I I mean, I think most people understand this, but I want to make sure that. Sure. So I tried this yesterday with a, a patient who was having a lot of complaints about when he gets up in the morning, when he gets out of bed. Sure. And I had him show me how he gets out of bed. I'm going to move this, Brad. Complaints about just getting out of bed or? Pain associated. Pain with getting out oh, okay. of bed. Yeah, it was just, yeah. <laughs> so I, I was thinking, oh, God, he's probably getting out, out wrong. You know? Sure. Because yep. when you get in out of bed, you want to lay onto your side like this, bring your legs up, roll over, and, and then you get into position like this. I, we, most people try to get out of bed like this. Therapists call that log rolling right. technique. Yep. So, yeah, I had him show me do it, how, how he did it, and he did it perfect. Mm -hmm. So that was, I wasn't going to help him. So I had him do it like he normally does it. He was having pain. Then I had him just tighten up. So Did you I, have him feel his stomach muscles? Yep. I had him I had him put his fingers there and tighten up. He he understood real he's a real intelligent guy. Sure. Yeah, he, he tightened up right away, tightened up. I said I kept saying tighten, 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 tighten the whole time go. he was doing it. Yep. And he had no pain. I mean it just shut it right off. Yeah. So, you know, I, I told him that anytime you're doing any activities. Like if you're going to do any lifting, sure. you want to go ahead and do the go ahead and tighten. Do you mind bringing a booyah stick over? Oh, no, not at all, Bob. So there we go. Booyah. So uh, one thing, you know, with lifting, we always want to make sure that you're keeping your back straight too. Yep. So if I'm going to lift something, 
Maybe I, we should turn this way a little bit. There sure. you go, so we can see it. If I'm going to lift something, I have to go like this oh. and keep contact. Switch hands once, Bob. Much easier to see. Oh, that. there you go. Yeah. Where's my? There we go. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm got one point of contact, I'm I'm incorrect. So he's got a, the, the head's not contacting, nor is the belt line. Yeah, and now I got them all contacted, and now I can lift correctly. Or if I'm going to do a lunge where I actually go down to the floor, that's what we recommend. But while you're doing all this, while you're doing this or the lunge, you want to tighten up your st your abdomen area. Right, right. There. So I know I've been doing this for years with spondylolisthesis. It is a common thing for me. And when I do my exercises, I have one hand here when I'm doing a, one of my abdominal. Oh, just to give you feedback. Yeah, and it, it just, uh, it really works, and so. So when were you gonna tell me about this? Well, I've been doing it so long, I, I, I kind of take it for granted. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I just discovered, I felt like I discovered gold or something, and here you, you've been holding this secret out for years. Well, <laughs> you know how it is, it's just. When why, you're, Brad, why? When, when you're at my level, Bob, it's hard to come down. <laughs> that's right, it's hard to <laughs> dumb yourself down to me, but. So the other one that I think that's real common, Brad, is that when people are making a bed, you know, or oh, I, yeah. I see a lot of the nurses leaning over patients. Sure. And the lot first off, they're not keeping their posture; they're going like this. Yep. But this is a great time to really want to tighten up. Yep. And and that whole time while you're you're bent over like sure, this. Sure. So yep. Keep the back straight. Keep tighten the back up. straight and and go to the tight. Give this a try. Give us some feedback on it. I mean, I I think you might be surprised. And also check out our, it'll be a, a video will be coming out within a week here on how to strengthen that core. Three exercises, front, side, and back. Right. You know, basically to cover right. all It's like doing the whole the back whole, belt. Right. The, the whole circumference. Mm -hmm. Right. So, all right. Anything else, Brad? Well, we can. Yeah. We can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. There you go. This is kind of getting in the area there. A little support from the inferior aspect that, into the right. diaphragm if, if your heart, by the heart is broken we can help give you support right there we See? go one Thanks. step closer